Okay, this can be number one from the 2008B form of the Calc AB exam, um, and it's an area volume problem, so let's just get started. So the problem says that um, R is a region in the first quadrant bounded by the graphs of Y equals the square root of X and Y equals X over three. And in part A, what we need to do is we need to find the area of R. And this is a calculator question, so I'm gonna almost entirely do it on the calculator, including uh, letting the calculator graph it for me. And then uh, this one's uh, really not that bad, right? So I need to go from zero to nine. So let's set up our integral from zero to nine. And then it's gonna be uh, top minus bottom. Uh, so the top curve is the square root of x. And the bottom curve is x over three. And then we're integrating with respect to x. So that's why the bounds are zero and nine because everything inside is x values and it's with respect to x. Um, okay, so then uh, there's a couple options for how you can get this answer. Uh, for this, I just used bounded area, um, which if you have an updated version of the TI Inspire operating system will definitely work for you. Uh, alternatively, so 4.5 is the answer. Um, alternatively, you can actually just do the definite integral. So f1 of x I have stored as square root of x f2 of x I have stored as x over 3, and you can see we get the same answer. Okay, let's take a look at part B. Oh, that was definite integral on the calculator. Part B, uh, we're going to find the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated about the vertical line x equals negative 1. All right, so vertical lines are like kind of like not the standard thing, which means we're going to end up using dy. So let's copy our picture over. Um, and then what do we need? So uh, here's our intersection points. So that's 9, 3, and 0, 0. But in this case, we're going to have a vertical line that we're going around, and it's x equals negative 1. So with a vertical line, uh, we want to switch things. So we're going to have a big radius, and we're going to have a small radius. So the big radius, you start at the axis, and you go until you hit the outer edge of the region. For the small radius, uh, you're going to start at the axis and go until you hit the inner curve of the region. So we're gonna to need to uh, convert some things. So y equals the square root of x. If I solve it for x, I'm gonna have x equals y squared. If I take y equals x over three and I solve it for x, I'm gonna get x equals three y. And now what I wanna do is think about what is the big radius, what's the little radius? Okay, so for the big radius, start at the axis, go until I hit the outer curve. The outer curve in this case is 3y. So for my big radius, I'm gonna end up with 3y minus negative one. So I always do right take away left when I'm dealing with a uh, dy situation. So for a vertical line, going around a vertical line or integrating with respect to y in general, right take away left. So big radius is gonna be that. And then uh, my smaller radius, is going to be, uh, again, right take away left, except in this case, the right hand curve is y squared. So it's gonna be y squared minus negative one, and then that's gonna be y squared plus one. And now I just need to calculate the volume, right? So uh, volume, uh, the number one thing people forget when they're calculating volume is actually to just write pi in front of it. Uh, so this is for volumes of revolution, not volumes with known cross sections. But if you're revolving around something, you're always gonna have pi in front of your integral. The integral from, all right, so we're using uh, all y values for our integrand, which means it's gonna be dy, or with respect to y, which means we need to use the y values of our intersection points. So we're gonna go from zero to three. So those are our bounds. And then it's going to be the quantity, the big radius squared, so three y plus one squared minus the little radius squared, so quantity y squared plus one squared. And then that'll be with respect to y, so dy. Uh, calculator problem, so we just grab a calculator. So you can get the exact value or a decimal approximation. I pretty much always write decimal approximations, go to three decimal places. Um, it's just easier, you, you can be more confident that you're writing the correct thing. So I'm gonna go 130.062, all right? Let's take a look at part C of this question. So in part C it says the region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, the cross sections perpendicular to the Y axis are squares. Find the volume of the solid. So it's really like this whole problem should have been done with respect to Y. 
probably should have done part A with respect to Y, but you know, you don't know going into it. So I just dove in and did the normal thing. Um, so let's take a look at this. So uh, what I do with these problems, I copy the picture over. I know that I'm using perpendicular to the Y axis. So I'm gonna draw in a little section. Um, so I call this S for um, side or segment is really what I'm calling it S for. So the segment that we're dealing with is that, that segment is the side of a square because the cross sections are squares. So uh, I'm going to write that as a function of y. And again, because it's with respect to y, so we're doing right take away left. So our side as a function of y or the segment as a function of y, uh, maybe I really do think of it as the side, but I should think of it as the segment, is gonna be right take away left. So three y minus y squared, area of a cross section. So the cross sections are squares. So it's just gonna be side squared. Um, and then the volume that we find. So this is a known cross section. You do not put pi unless you need to. The only time you'll put pi here is if you're doing semicircles, in which case you'll have like a pi over eight in front of it. But in this case it's square, so it's just we're integrating the area of a cross section. So we're gonna do the integral. Uh, it's gonna be with respect to y. So again, zero to three. And then uh, the side of this thing is 3y minus y squared. And then we're gonna square that because squares and then uh, dy. All right, grab a calculator. You can uh, get an exact value or a decimal. I actually wrote the exact value in this case. Well, actually they're both exact because 8.1 is exactly 81 over 10. Um, but that's it, all right? So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.